James Melendez, benvenuto. Welcome to the tasting table. This wine grape variety is next. It's Enzolia, also known as Ansonica. So I'll tell you some top line information on this variety and I'll tell you why I selected this variety. This is a variety known by 27 synonyms. Enzolia with an S or a Z is something you'll see primarily in Sicily. And then in uh, Tuscany, Toscana, you'll see the term Ansonica. So 99.8% of this variety is grown in Italy and 0.2% of that is grown in Australia. 96% of Enzolia in Italy is grown in Sicilia, Sicily, and 4% of that primarily in Tuscany, Toscana. So the vineyard area is about 6,130 hectares, which is about 15,000 acres. There's a close relatedness to this grape of say, uh, Frappato, Grillo, and Nerello Mascalesi. Think about this as well. Those are native varieties of Sicily itself. Recent research has shown and confirmed that this wine variety is indeed a native of Sicily. And I think it's a wine grape variety, so I'll go into why I selected this wine grape. I think it's a lovely wine that doesn't get as much attention as other varieties such as Grillo, Caricante, or Catarato. And I think that's one that is unfortunate, but I think there's some reasons for that. I see a lot of descriptors, and what is a prime descriptor? Nuttiness. And so when I think of a wine, and if I have never had this wine, I might not pick it up because I think it's gonna be a sweet wine or it's gonna have a singular character. It's not no complexity to this wine. And so I think that's where people perhaps get stuck and don't think of this wine. And it doesn't mean that other varieties that's from Sicily are not lovely wines. I definitely love the Grillo, Caricante, and Catarato wines. I think they're absolutely exquisite. But this wine, I think, has a lot to offer in terms of, say, a wonderful food pairing wine, a wine to enjoy on its own, to enjoy pizza, uh, white pizza, white pasta dishes, enjoy this with a burger, enjoy this with a chicken salad, so many ways to enjoy this wine. And so here's a picture here I found, and I just randomly found this. This is a book that says and describes this as a nutty wine. That's an unfortunate call out, because if I think about that again, it's something that's just so singular, and there should have been more descriptors on that. So I think it has the ability, first of all, the color on this is outstanding. It's a very mild hay colorization compared to other Enzolia that I do find they're very similar to this colorization. It has a moderate acidity. It has a nice sense of, uh, I would say, a very nice body weight to the wine. And so it definitely offers a broader spectrum of characterization beyond nuttiness. And I will use a nutty uh, uh, descriptor in a moment, but I think that is really, uh, and I'll tell you why I selected that specific word, because I think that's very specific to this wine variety itself. Now let's uh, give you some care, uh, key characterization on this wine. So notation of sea spray, Sicilian lemons, crushed seashells, and pine nut. Yes, pine nut. Now, pine nuts are very important to me because as a young boy, I'd forage for them. I would you know, put them and roast them on the stove top and then crack them open and they have a sense of earthiness, a bit of sweetness, and overwhelming freshness. And so I think that's a good call out for this wine itself. So it's not cloyingly a pine nut or pignoli uh, character. And pignoli is, of course, grown on Sicily itself but I think it's a very nice, uh, gorgeous way to describe this wine. Next is a palate characterization. So a very lovely wine, superbly dry, and it gives a character on this wine of preserved lemon, citrus skin, white nectarine, pine nut, and oyster shell. So fruit notation, giving sapidity as well as mineral notation and freshness. It's a delicious wine, one to consider. You'll find at your favorite wine merchant or find this online. It's pretty um, easily found, but it's also at a very good price point. You will also find this at restaurants and you'll find this at uh, say wine bars as well. So it's a really lovely wine to think about. So if you love Grelo, you love Caricante and Catarato, please keep this in mind. It's a lovely wine. So thank you for watching. Questions and comments down below, please list them. And I will see you in the next video that I present on James and Wine Guy. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next video review. Salute.